the help of medical imaging, a new study is illustrating for the first time how COVID-19 can trick the body into attacking itself. From joint pain to mysterious symptoms like COVID toes, it's giving doctors new insight into the virus. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain how it could help treat some of COVID's lingering symptoms. Within a few days of testing positive for COVID-19, Taima Hodzik started having some unusual symptoms. Blisters on her hands, rashes on her legs and arms. Her joints began to swell. I started also having some pain in my feet. Um, I did end up in the ER just because the swelling was really, really big on my hands. I had blisters. I couldn't wash my hands because I couldn't rub them together. It hurt so bad. A new study in the journal Skeletal Radiology examined these kinds of aches and swellings through CT scans and MRIs. The imaging confirmed what doctors have suspected, that COVID-19 can cause friendly fire. It's an autoimmune reaction where the virus is triggering the body to attack itself. And that can be long lasting. That can even be permanent. Northwestern University's Dr. Swati Deshmukh is one of the co-authors of the study. Certainly other viruses can cause muscle aches. Um, some other viruses can even cause joint problems. But the, the range of symptoms that we're seeing and the number of people who are experiencing these symptoms with COVID-19, it's nothing like we've seen before. Experts still haven't nailed down exactly why the virus can sometimes cause an overactive immune response, but there are several theories. When antibodies stick to a virus, they disable it, but it's up to other immune cells to come in and destroy it. One theory is that some patients have trouble destroying those antibody-coated viruses, creating a buildup of junk that can lead to a chain reaction. The virus is tricking the body into thinking that some of its own cells, some of its own muscles or joints are alien and need to be removed. The study lays out clues that radiologists should look for. It takes an expert's eye, but they look for inflammation or fluid buildup, signs that these symptoms in the shoulders or feet are really caused by a COVID-related immune response. It can happen in patients with severe COVID or just a mild case. We were seeing some of these long-term and autoimmune complications on imaging, but the patients had never been tested for COVID-19 or they weren't aware if they had been infected with the virus. COVID-19 is full of surprises and the numbers of people who have been infected are so astronomical that the number of what we would think are rare complications is actually not so rare at all. She's hopeful the study leads to better diagnosis so patients can get targeted treatments. After two hospitalizations, Taima Hodzik was diagnosed with COVID-induced psoriatic arthritis. The 31-year-old is now taking daily medication, which she'll have to continue for an unknown amount of time. Derek Stoll, ABC 10 News.